All right, I know you guys can't see, but right now it is so muddy. Oh, can you guys see that? Ugh. All right, there's the car and all its goodness. Then we turn on the old bam, there's a light. All right, finally, I got enough money to actually get concrete poured. Um, the dude's gonna let me know when he can actually pour it. Hopefully soon, it's gonna cost me around $1,800 to do the 20 by 26 foot, you know, square. It's like 400 something square foot. I don't know the exact measurements, but today, sad day, but a good day. We're actually gonna sell the California special, you know, wing. I, I do like it. It looks fairly good on it, but I've had this for a while and you know, might as well get it put on because I didn't buy it for nothing. I wonder if this primer kind of looks like that. It's close, I mean, does it look stupid? I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and start taking this off. Okay, hopefully this is a good angle. If not, I do apologize. All right, get my phone, put that up. Car's unlocked. I do believe you will need, okay, a trim puller, a 10 mil uh, socket with a three inch drive. First off, we just need a trim puller, a whole Mac tool set. This is only like 50 bucks, guys. Honest to God, it's really nice. But hopefully, I can have somebody actually paint that spoiler. Cone of blue. Or what do you guys think? Should I paint it black? I don't know yet. Let me know, because by the time I post this video, that thing is not going to be painted. Um, but guys, let me know. Cone of blue. Uh, I'm not keeping it primer blue or primer. Uh, just like the outside. I don't like that look, and I want to get those painted too. So let me know what you guys want to think. Or let me get let me know what you guys think because I kind of want to do the whole accent black because I think that would look like a lot cleaner than that like primer look. Ugh. All right, that is gonna worry the hell out of me because I can't actually get it off. Please tell me I didn't break it. All right, so I hope this is recording, but I got it off heat glue gun and then you gotta remember that these are glued down look at that i scratched the shit right here man i wish i never have touched the car hopefully the spoiler comes right here or something man look at the scratches that's so deep that's crazy hopefully i bought a polisher uh i hope i can buff all the scratches out that's what i'm gonna try to do but right now i still need to get these little uh the studs out and that should be it. This is a, this is a hammer. Caleb, I'm not taking a dang swig of that. I would be, I would feel bad using a dirty rag to get that off, but your car's already trash. Oh God, look at, oh Caleb, like, oh look at the swirl marks. All right guys, today, well, Carrying on from the last video of taking this spoiler off, I got all the adhesive, but now you see the ugliness that it has left. So, Caleb gave me the bright idea to actually use plugs and just to plug these up for now. Is it coming off? Yeah. Kinda. Kinda. It's disappearing. Kinda. It's coming back. <laughs> Uh, please come out. Okay. No, they're they're push tabs. So you just okay, push them. Just in. use these sides. I think these sides will work fine. Well, whatever you think fits well, but if you want to like make it so it's sealable, let's electrical tape the outer, okay. and then push it in. <laughs> just don't bend the trunk. I don't know how I'm getting this fucker out. <laughs> yeah, don't don't push too hard. God dang, Caleb. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Ah. That's the one that fits though. <laughs> Come on. 
come back out. <laughs> just push the other switch, tap it. <laughs> Guys, as I'm editing, I notice I don't have any type of audio here, but this is the finished product of the GT500 spoiler. That's all I got, really. So, hope you guys did like this video. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.